We're back setting up the T-Rex 470 LM. Uh, since I shut down the video, I basically came back and we assembled the rotor head, or attached the rotor head is the best way to put it. Went ahead and, and put the main mass bolt through. I did tighten up the bolts holding the two swash driver arms now uh, with, with thread lock. These are essentially pinch bolts on the rotor head here. Um, we went and put the swash driver arms to the, sw to the ball link sticking straight out off the swash. And then our links up to the rotor head are here on these 90 degree ball links coming off the swash for the, the drive here. What we're going to do is set up my digital pitch gauge, my RC logger here, and kind of hard to get a good view on this. I want to place the logger on the top of the motor because the motor is essentially my zero reference and I need to get in there and zero that. The way this is sitting it's a little awkward. Okay I've got zero degrees sitting on top of the motor. We're going to relocate the camera to the back. Um, set this back here. One other piece while we're doing this. My fly barless system, whether it is the MicroBeast Pro or the AR7200BX, I'm in step G right now and I have one of the modes selected. So I finished my swash plate leveling in the previous video. I went ahead and exited out of the control system and came back through here again. When I have one of these lit, I'm essentially in leveled swash mode now. So all the servos retain where you set them and I can go ahead and start off the, the blade tracking and everything else. On the top of the rotor head, we have two zero pitch indicators. And right now they are very close. So with the links uh, set to what was prescribed in the manual and the swash leveled and sitting in level mode right now, uh, my zero pitch indicators are very close on both blades. We still have to set up the fly barless system, but we know we're close on the blade tracking. Uh, I just constructed a little pile of stuff back here to keep the tail level. I really wanted this helicopter to sit in one spot while I'm working on it and not move around too much. And with the, the 470 LM has the extended gear to get the tail off the ground, you just have to set the tail up so it's, it's clear. So I've got my digital pitch gauge here. And on this blade, I am currently showing, I have a hard time getting at that, I'm currently showing a negative 0.3, which is pretty good. We're going to spin this around. First thing I'm doing before I do anything else is I'm going to go ahead and set my blade tracking. You should be able to get this very, very close. Um, this is showing a negative 0.8. The minimum I can turn this, um, every time I turn the, uh, the ball link one turn, I'm going to get about a degree so I'm at point, uh, negative 0.4 and negative 0.8. I'm going to leave this one alone and call it good. And for now, I'm going to work off the, the neg 4 blade just for reference. I'm in point G right now. When I move forward, next steps I'll go through is going to be setting um, swash plate mixer type. So the next one there is... 120 degree, which is standard. And for that I want a red light. Next thing we're going to do here is set swash plate servo directions. So in this mode, see if I can get you in closer on the fly bar right now, or the swash plate right now. That was a throwback. There's no fly bar here. Okay, in this mode, we're on step I right now, and it's setting swash plate servo directions. If I move the collective stick up and down, you'll notice I'm getting positive collective and all the servos are moving in the right direction. So that one's okay. The next one is going to go to cyclic pitch geometry and this one's the, the crucial setup one. What I'm looking for is we're going to get off to the side here. And I'm going to want to put in when the, we're sitting right here. I want to get to six degrees in one direction or the other. 
and I know I was off a little bit there so I could actually come in just below that I'm gonna try 5.8 or 5.7 but as long as you're in the six degree range um, of aileron this is uh, what the fly barless system needs to uh, MicroBeast Pro and the 7200BX next step is we're gonna set positive and negative pitch curves and so I'm starting at negative bottomed out all the way this is a matter of preference this thing has got a ton of power um, I personally like somewhere around 14 degrees you may want to start off with 12 or 13 um, work your way up I like it to pop fairly well and the, the collective pitch definitely helps with that we just want to get a symmetrical pitch here so I had about 13.8 or 13.9 on the other end that sets uh, total collective available make sure you get positive and negative and you pause slightly just to let that go forward the next step is called cyclic plate swash ours I'm sorry uh, cyclic pitch geometry we go to collective pitch range in the following we're in step L right now uh, swash plate cyclic limit Let's see if I can get back in here and what I'm going to do is I'm at full collective right now and I want to be able to move this full cyclic travel I go to full negative and I do the same thing one thing I found I've given this tip before is here when the light is blue in the uh, cyclic limit I typically tend to bump that with the rudder stick till it goes red then I come back until it just turns blue and that seems to work for a, a pretty good feel for what I want here um, on all the T-Rexes I've set up it gives you just about maximum throw the geometry on these things is set up very well um, but maximum throw and it also gives the maximum ag agility to the fly barless unit sorry we're moving the camera around a bunch here swash plate sensor direction we're gonna get into this mode very critical every time I've done a setup video I've shown this in this mode you're telling how the fly barless unit is going to react to motions on the helicopter anything the helicopter does the fly barless unit has to do the opposite so if I pick up the back we expect the swash plate to go aft if I pick up the tail the swash plate should go aft here it's not if I rotate the helicopter right swash plate should go left which it is I simply bump the rudder stick until I find the mode I want so now I've got I pick up the tail aft goes the swash plate goes aft I roll the helicopter right swash plate comes left that's perfect last step on this one is really um, only for the 7200 BX this is no longer required with the micro beast pro uh, this one is called pirouette optimization direction and what you're looking for right now the aft of the swash went up I am going to move the camera a little bit and see how we can do this what I want to do is rotate the helicopter and the, the piece of the swash plate, the part of the swash plate that's currently raised should stay that way. So essentially as long as the high part stays pointing to the viewers almost to the right, this is set up correctly. If the high spot on the swash plate stays where it is, so for example if, if I rotate the helicopter and this tail stays high, the elevator end stays high, then the setting is wrong. You essentially want when I rotated the helicopter 90 degrees here the raised part stayed relative to the viewer not relative to the helicopter that means it's set right and that's it for the master setup on the 7200BX